really hope you're still doing well and you're welcome to my YouTube channel once again. And uh, if you're new here, please subscribe to this channel and like the videos uh, so that we keep together. And today we are remaining with uh, just two months to end the year. And so as farmers, when we realize that the year is ending, uh, we usually visit our books, our, our recordings, and we see what we have been doing. And of course, uh, we usually check uh, the profits, losses, and even uh, the challenges we have been facing so that we can, uh, we can, control, uh, this, we can control the problems when we enter the new year. So today, and I found out that uh, we have many people that are going to venture into this business of pig farming. Uh, I already know like four people who are going to be doing pig farming early next year. And so they have been asking what they can know, uh, what they need to know uh, before doing the business, what they can understand before uh, buying their first stock at the farm and so today we are going to just share a few things um, you can know before you do pig farming and first I'll talk about uh, I'll talk about knowing what you're going to bring at the farm the type of breed it's very important as a farmer first to know the type of breed you're going to bring at your farm because this is going to help you to know the facilities and requirements that you need at your farm. So as a new beginner, you need to know the type of breed you're going to deal with, whether you're going to run a, a large or a small business. You need to know the type of breed you're going to deal with. And also, uh, I'll, I, I'll talk about acquiring training. It's all it's always very important that as a new farmer, you first get some basic training on what pig farming is all about, so that um, you get some knowledge and skills to run uh, the business very well. And of course, uh, this will help you uh, to get the solutions um, uh, in the process of running your business. So it is very important to first get some training on what pig farming is all about. I'll also talk about uh, purchasing healthy piglets. As farmers, you all know that when you really want your farm to work very well and you avoid um, being in losses, you need to bring healthy piglets. So as a new farmer, those people who are asking me what they really need to know, as a new farmer, you really want to, you need to buy a healthy piglet to bring at your farm. And this can help you to have a successful farm because you won't spend uh, your money uh, on buying medicines, vaccines, because uh, those things will take your money, so it's all about you bringing a healthy piglet at the farm. And of course, as a new farmer, uh, it's always very important to start with few numbers and you increase as time uh, goes. Because when you bring many numbers at the farm, you may not be able to control them. So it is always very important that you start with few numbers and you will keep adding uh, slowly, slowly, as you're understanding uh, the business, and of course, not forgetting to, uh, to 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 bring young pigs when you're starting. It's always very important to buy the younger ones. The younger pigs are always very easy to control and manage compared to the old, compared to the older pigs. So it is always very important that when you're starting your farm, bring young pigs so that you can manage them very well and control them. And also I will talk about building a, a standard pen. As a new farmer, you need to know the type of pens you're going to put at, at the farm. 
because these paints are very important. They protect our pe uh, our pigs from harsh weather conditions, uh, external attacks. So it's all about knowing how you are going to build the bu the houses for the pigs, and of course not forgetting to uh, to put the right drainage. Uh, to prevent water from staying in the paints because if water stays there it can end up attracting harmful insects, pests and this can infect our pigs. So it is very important to put up a very good house for the pigs because it will protect them from injuries and other things that may disturb them. So uh, 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 and of course uh, this will make them stay in a uh, in a place very comfortable and you will really enjoy uh, the business. I'll also talk about feeding. Uh, many people usually fear feeds. They, they usually say uh, pig feeds are expensive. And of course to some places they are expensive and to other places they are not. Uh, it will depend on how you're going to deal with your pigs. Uh, and of course, uh, as you know, these pigs are very okay. They can eat everything. They can eat almost everything, so long as it is not going to harm them. Uh, for example, you can say to give them these normal potato veins, uh, grass, leaves, uh, and other leafy foods. Only that you need to first put them under the sun to remove the toxins and after you can feed your pigs those things. So it's a matter of you knowing how you're going to feed your pigs, what you're going to give them, uh, how you're going to reduce on the costs and of course not forgetting to giving them a balanced diet. As you all know that we feed our pigs according to age, weight and even the um, uh, the type of production. So, when you are going to give your pigs feeds, make sure at least you include two diets uh, one for the older pigs and another one for the younger pigs. So, it is always very important that you know how you are going to feed your pigs to avoid spending a lot of money on expensive feeds. Also, as a new, as a new farmer, you need to know how to market your farm. Of course, you need to make people know your, mark, your farm and how they can uh, locate your farm. So as a new farmer, at least you can first move around to the restaurants that are near you, farms, small farms. Uh, you can move around, meet stores. And of course, you can leave them with your contacts and you know, so that when they are in need of anything, they can reach you. And that's how the, you can start marketing your farm slowly, slowly. And also, I'll talk about need to consider employing workers uh, for the start. But of course, um, when you are going to start your business, you need to start with few workers. And if you can do the work for yourself for the start, it's always good. But if you can't do the work by yourself, you can just employ two or one people to help you at the farm. And of course, you will increase the number of workers and when workload becomes so big. And that will help you to uh, avoid employing many people at the start when you can't manage them or even when the business is still young. So uh, it is always advisable to, uh, to employ few workers at the start and you keep adding as the business grows. And of course we expect when the business grows and the profits also will be increasing. There you can keep adding uh, other workers to help you at the farm. So as a new farmer, those are just a few things you need to know. First, acquire training know how you're going to feed your, your, your pigs, uh, know the type of breed you're going to drink, um, do some marketing, simple marketing around your farm so that people can always know uh, where to find you if they really need anything. And don't forget to, uh, to know how you're going to 
uh, work with the people at the farm uh, and also knowing how you're going to build your house for the pigs. Those are just a few things if you can just get some basic training on what pig farming is all about then you are ready to go and do your business and of course uh, we shall keep sharing uh, keep commenting keep asking where you really want to know we shall always be there to help you as new farmers and so don't forget to subscribe again to my youtube channel and let's keep moving together thank you